Hi, I'm Belinda. I'm Pat. And we're with Jagged Things, and we're taking you on another Jagged Adventure. Today, we're taking you to the St. Louis Cemetery known as Belle Fountain. That's right. It's not French. It's not Belle Fonte. It is Belle Fountain, y'all. Because <laughs> we in the Midwest. Anyway, we're taking you here because we're going to show you some strange and unique looking headstones because we're into cemeteries. Because that's why we're we have... like that. That's right. That's why we have this channel, right, Pat? Yep. Called the Jagged Thing. Makes sense, right? Freaky looking, unique looking, strange, however you look at it, we're going to show it to you because that's what we do here at Jagged, Jagged Things. Things. The cemetery is huge and it joins the old Calvary Cemetery, which is a Catholic cemetery. But the Bell Fountain Cemetery is just open religion. There is no certain religion for you to be buried here. So, I'll show you. I'll start off. These are kind of unique. Let's take a look at these. Kind of a plaque for, for the Oaks family, maybe. Look at the detail on the face of this. Some detail. She's, she's pretty unique. She's holding a rose. It's cool. And it says, Weep not she is not dead, but sleepeth. Interesting. And creepy. So, was she buried alive? Hmm. Let's hope not. It's a really creepy thought. Her name is Ann Vernon Oaks, beloved wife of Pete Oaks, and she died in 1898. Let's hope he didn't bury her alive. Let's hope they just mean, you know, her soul's alive and that's yada it's yada. Big, heavy thing on top yeah, of that's what I'm thinking too. Like, out. We want to make sure she doesn't come up again, but we're just letting you know she's just sleeping. So don't lift anything, because it could be bad. I suppose this is not strange, not considered strange, but it is considered very beautiful. She was born in 1862 and she died in 1892. Her name was Lizzie. And it's just cool that they planted these flowers in there. Isn't that beautiful? Died 1869. It's kind of cool looking. Open it up, you can't tell what it says. Mm-mm. No, whatever it said before is gone now. Oh, that is so cool though. The detail on these things are just amazing. It's like a stack of rocks that she was sitting up on. Oh, it's just like the other one. Almost like it. But she's got a little lamb. Oh, it's a little lamb. But there's another scroll and nothing can be read on it anymore. This is so cute. I wish I could read the years on them, but they are pretty wore down. The first one probably it was buried in this family plot. Not readable. Let's see. This one is. No, they're not. They're so cool looking though. I gotta look at this one across the street too. It looks pretty cool. I love all these that have the little walkway stones. Cool. These died in one in 1888 and one in 1898. So Catherine died before Henry. Let's take a look at this one across the street. Don't you guys just love these? I seriously love going to cemeteries. Look at this. This is really neat. It 
looks like a bunch of rocks were piled. I mean, it's made to look old, but it is old. It's made to look more down to earth, I believe. There was writing on it at one time, but it's not readable now. But it is really cool. And this is a weary, I believe it's a weary pot. They all were buried here in late 1800s and early 1900s. But it's super cool. Okay, I feel sorry for this lady, Rebecca W. Shire, because she's holding a mop. So I don't know if she was like a cleaning lady or what her thing was, but seriously, that's really cruel. Isn't it, hun? It's cruel to have buried you with a mop. You should have been buried with a bouquet of roses. I'm sorry. I apologize for your family. A servant, you know? Yeah. But I mean, it was this huge stone was made for her, though. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? She loved mopping. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I'm skeptical about that. ADA, Ada. Poor Ada. She's been through some rough times. There's an arm missing. But her wings are still intact. And they are very heavy duty, strong wings. Good for her. Russell and Freddie. I think they're twins. I think they're twins. Looks like there's an eyeball in the middle, and then they're holding hands. It's sort of different. 1888, three eights. He died. Maybe. Maybe she was born 1850 and yeah, died, died 1888. Is that a birth date? And then no death date? Like they never finished it. Um, and yeah, they could still be alive. The, no, they're not alive. That's 1848. Oh, that is a 48, yeah, so... Yeah, was, so, yeah. yeah, that wasn't a child of hers, so... 1850, she was 1850. Maybe he, he was mean and he remarried, and then he went and got buried with the other one. But what's the... That's not R -F -S -T, nice. R-F-S-T, rest, it's not rest in peace. And then the it's triangle. Not, I know, it looks like, symbolism. and the I, I yeah, it looks like they belong to some kind of organization or something. Yeah. Secret yeah, yeah. So no telling <laughs> where he's buried. It's a secret. So this family chose a plot that was sitting uphill, and they could have overlooked this whole valley being up on this hillside, and yet they were buried in the opposite direction. Can't run them all. I like how these are done. Like they're propped up on a stack of rocks. It's pretty cool. Is it? It almost looks like a dog. That's what I was thinking. Kind of an unusual shape from this angle. I don't think it is, but it looks like one. <laughs> I think it's something headless. 
Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, it used to have a head and it used to have an arm and a hand and legs gone, I think. It's had a rough time. Yeah. Wow. Yep, he's been roughed up pretty bad. Our, I can't really say it, Seedy, City, Sadie, I don't know. Though her wrist is broken, her hand is still hanging on. It's like a buffalo. It is a buffalo, isn't it? Yeah. That's wild. Never seen something like a head of a buffalo. And this is the lion, of course. William Clark, 1791. There's expedition in 1804, 1805, and 1806. And this is Mr. Clark himself. Well, at least his headstone. When you're a child and you're first learning how to spell words, the first word you're supposed to learn how to spell is your name. Poor child. It's actually someone's grave too. It is a broken down cannon. General Richard Barnes Mason. He died July 25th, 1850. and was born in 1797. Erected by his widow and children. Wow, it's pretty amazing. Quite a tombstone. Sometimes the strange is beautiful. And this is one of them. Do you look at this? This is so cool. Sydney Roland Francis. Sydney Roland Francis, 1857 to 1893. Isn't this gorgeous? I think this is bronze. The money that's in this is, well, it's just outstanding. But this is the Francis bought. This is Francis himself. It's gorgeous. And it's creepy at the same time because, I don't know, just having that much money to spend to be that flashy after you're dead, it's just a little strange and a little creepy in itself. But she is beautiful. I love her face. Look at this. Quite pretty, don't you think? I think she's beautiful. She's unique in the face, and the cool thing about the bronze is the facial features stay unlike the ones that are made out of the concrete and stuff that end up just you know, eroding away, and it's cool. Love the wings. Fabulous. The gown, and well, it's pretty amazing. This is creepy. 
hope it's so cool. Look how black that is. It's probably totally blacked out. see any of the features at all. These are to protect them still from grave robbers. 1915, 1933. Amazing that they still have these. But basically that's what these were for. Was to protect them from grave robbers. I wanted to make sure even because this one was in 1893 and they were definitely doing grave robbing then for the universities washington university probably was still in graves back <laughs> hate to say it but oh that one's shorter is this a kid oh that's a baby infant daughter mm -hmm. that's sad, right? this one was five years right five next to it so they're both children but that is to protect them from grave robbers it's m Winkleman. This one's kind of cool looking. The Bradford Blossom. Wow, big chunk of it's fell on the ground here. It's came off up to the top, I think. A little dangerous, but I'm going to risk it. See, I can see. Oh, it's really pretty. There's stained glass in there. You can see anything, probably not. It's too far away. This is pretty cool too. It's another bronze statue. I love the faces on these. They're so unique. This is a monument for the, the actual cemetery, or the actual family plot. It's pretty cool though. on the floor. Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. There are tombs in here and I would think you'd have to be very well off to get one. Look at the stained glass. It's gorgeous. There is a golden wreath of thorns Pretty amazing.
It says, in the memory of the noblest, dearest, gentlest, and most unselfish of women. Her name was Odalie Stephen. Okay, this one looks like she's looking up at heaven and saying, wait, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> that, that would be mine because she's super cool says he giveth his beloved sleep and this one I love this one oh, so heartbreaking but I love it I really really love it and look she's on her little tippy toes that is so sad it makes me want to cry. It's so beautiful and so sad. This is really sad. It's a sleeping child and the angels overlooking the child. How sweet and how very sad. Can't read it though. It's 18 something. Looks like there's three. It's for three different graves. Oh, I said a corner broke off of it. It's really cool. This one's been, gives you an impression that it's been moving at night. It's a little creepy. It's a little creepy. It's like they've tried to repair it. Died in 1849. We are now going into the Calvary Cemetery. One of my 
my favorites of the tombstones or the markers are weeping angels. <clears throat> it's huge and she is so gorgeous. So, so beautiful. This is a part of the very sad. There are a lot of crosses very sad, and a very lot beautiful. of Jesus. Headstones out here and family markers, family plot markers. She is thinking something over. Pretty sad. It's all broken up. Looks like maybe 1886. Another one of my favorites, a weeping angel. This one's just a little different because her she's got her arm hanging down. Sam. Oh, these are so cool. Robert help us find these because we really wanted to. But the story about these children being from an orphanage and that they were just dumped on the docks is the most heartbreaking thing. But look at these. These are so precious. These are not creepy in any way to me. These are absolutely 100% adorable. J.B. Barry, no, Barbie. Barbie. And they say the son of J.L.D. and A.S. Morrison, born June 29th, 1870, died August 13th, 1876. He has been no something because God hath taken him. That's it. How adorable. It's almost like yeah, a sleigh that he's in. It's cool. This one has the little lamb, and this one's in a, like what looks like a little crib. It's just a baby. It's got a little rattler, and look, someone gave her a little doll. Oh, she's so adorable. So adorable. I love it. wheels on it. I believe it's actually a wheelchair, although it looks like a sleigh. There are grapes. A grapevine growing up it. How pretty is that? That's beautiful. That is really, really beautiful. Someone's put a penny up there. I'm not sure what that says. It's cool. Aw, we put a little lamb on him. Hi, cutie.
Morrison plot says Mimi, Freddie, and Marie, children of Fred and Virginia and Berthold. He died 1856. Well, that's the end, guys. We've been here all day. We hope you enjoyed it. And until the next jagged video, stay jagged. See you then. Bye, guys. Oh.